Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. I hope you all are doing well. We are going to get into the general energies for Capricorn. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your views. I appreciate it. Your likes, shares, comments, subscribes, all of that. I love it. I appreciate it. I thank you so much. It helps the channel. It helps the message get out to more people. And yes, it does make me feel good. So by all means, Capricorns, please continue to do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided along with um, links to my other platforms for additional content. And I have opened a store for my jewelry. So you can also go over and take a look at that and if you have any questions or concerns or you want to design something of your own by all means contact me and we can get that going okay okay capricorn your channel song for this week is ll cool j around the way girl so don't take that as it applies for you uh, but it's upbeat it's you know it's smooth I don't know about nobody else, but I think LL Cool J is like one of the smoothest rappers ever. Like he is so cool. So that could possibly be your energy right now, Capricorn. Take it as it applies, okay? All right, TT Music Oracle message for Capricorn. I need an around the way girl. She's the one for me. Hey. Okay. Or maybe that's, that's either who you are or that's what you're looking for. Mm. Y'all wrong. All right. There's one. Get a seven flip. No. Gonna take that one as two since it wanted to halfway fall out and there's three and four all right we have be happy by mary j blige a lot of self-love self-care okay stay by jodeci let's dance by david bowie that came out in the uh in the general message so take the take Take a listen to that general message, okay? Uh, Cupid by 112. Under the deck, we have If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. Thinking about something, someone. Stay. Stay there. Give me a second, because that's interesting energy right there. Oh, so for some of you, this could be you were in a relationship with someone you, you know, never ever thought that anything would go wrong. It would just always be there, always stay there. And you now realizing that it's okay for things to be let go and for you to go on your journey for your own self-care, self-love self-preservation all right and you doing so and letting things go and <sighs> telling everybody who or whoever this energy is to keep that same energy that they've always had all right you're being free to dance and do whatever it is that you want and need to do because now you are free to do so Hold on, guys. Sorry, y'all. Alrighty then. That's the first time this song has, or this um, uh, meditation has done that. So, oh, keep it pushing. Something else and someone else, some new energy is coming in once you release and let whatever this once was stable thing go. Okay? Something that you thought you could not do without is now something that you are learning how to do without. And as soon as you release and let it go, the doors open, the floodgates open, and there's something new, someone new 
some new inspired energy on the other side of that coolness coolness animal message for Capricorn okay wild unknown animal message we have the hyena things that need to be released and let go of this is that Five of Wands energy, that fighting back and forth, that dark side of the moon. There's some things that are seen, but there are some other things that aren't seen. Uh, spiritual warfare kind of thing. And then we also have the shark. These um, not so positive feelings and emotions coming to the surface. All right fire and water both are opposites okay they're both opposites but it's being brought to the surface for for it to be addressed now this could be the energy within you or the energy within someone else take it as it applies we always start with ourselves first and then other people so whatever this um inner turmoil is whatever this fight is within you that's passionate but also emotional it's coming to the surface to be addressed um for some this energy just is what it is um it doesn't necessarily mean that it's uh sinister as it appears okay it appears this way sharks great whites are naturally they naturally look like predators they cannot help it that is the way that they were created however it does not mean that um you know they are this predator that's just not evolved okay um there is balance here there is balance even though you know there's some there could be possibly some fuckery afoot there could also be balance here again this could be you within yourself or someone in your environment under the deck we have the eagle now this could be you again or someone else seeing something from a higher perspective and now acting accordingly you may it may um not look fair and just to other people but right now you are putting on this hard ass energy of i am doing what needs to be done for me if you don't like it tough shit that's a capricorn if ever i did hear or see tell them on and it's not always a bad thing. It's just how you do things, okay? All right, Capricorn. Ooh, Fairy Oracle, the Feline. What card is this? Card number 65. Stuff got to get done. For some, this is an energy of... I hate to keep using foul language, but... This is the way it's coming in. Fuckery and bullshit. Accusations. Sneaky shit. Um, this is also something that needs to be addressed. Something that needs to get done in order for you to be able to move forward. Okay? It's that, that thing that needs to be addressed, but you don't necessarily want to. So you keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. But... It's got to be taken care of in order for you to move into this next season or you're going to take this energy into your next season or not even go into the next season. Just have to repeat the cycle in order for you to get to the next season. Okay, so take it as it applies for you. Capricorn under the deck. We have card number 48. And that is the collective of pixies. Okay. 
for some of you, this is um, you walking away from this collective, uh, whatever this the this group of individuals are. It could be a group of individuals. It could be uh, a collective mindset. But take it as it applies, because whatever this whatever this is, it's got to be addressed in order for you to move forward. This could also be the energy of whatever these, this, this could be your place of employment. This could be your job, okay? And now something needs to be addressed within that place and space because you're not happy, okay? So this week some stuff's got to be done because you see things from a higher perspective i'm sorry guys hold on just a second i need to get a drink my bad now gets woo so you seeing whatever this is from a higher perspective brings this up to be addressed okay and as you can see this poor little creature once looked like it was you know it had plenty of beauty and f wings and all kinds of things and, and now it doesn't because something still needs to be addressed things need to be completed all right being brought to the surface for it to be addressed so that you can move in the space place manner in which you choose to And absolutely, again, we start with ourselves first and then address energies outside of us. Okay. All right. Ah, the six of, I'm sorry, no. The nine of air. This is anxiety, overthinking, being all up in your head, okay? I'm going to take another one to see what that is. Oh, high priestess. You all up in your head because you're getting downloads and seeing stuff for what it is. That's what that is. And it's it's a bit overwhelming. And you you need to talk about it. You need to discuss it. You need to address it so that you or whatever this energy is is not in this uh, state of still needing to be worked on, still needing to be addressed, still needing to be brought up, still needing to be left behind, okay? Relax, ground yourself, get out your head. No anxiety, no overthinking listening to your higher self listening to your higher guidance listening to that still small voice under the deck what do we have okay you could possibly be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio pisces take it as it applies we have queen of water Please check out that um, general energies message because that could possibly be linked to that because the king of water came out under the deck in that in that message. Something needs to be addressed, especially when it comes to your emotions. You seeing something from a higher perspective when it comes to the uh, place, space, or energies that you were around, the people that you were around, and how that affects you emotionally. It is, for some of you, bringing to the surface um, some thoughts of anxiety, some thoughts of uh, a lot of stuff going on, some confusion possibly, okay, when it comes to listening to your higher self, something that needs to be addressed so that there is movement forward 
something this could also possibly be something in the past that happened that is stirring some stuff up and coming back up for you this week so that you can get to the get to the root of it okay mm. Capricorn what is the purpose of this energy this week I'm not sure if this came out in Libra's reading or that general. I want to say it was the general. The beaver. Lay a solid foundation. This is so this is clearing out the foolishness, getting everything up on the surface. Be this um, spiritual warfare, you going back and forth within yourself. Um, you dealing with the environment and people around you and what they think and feel and dealing with their energies and mixed with your energies and trying to see if this is you or if this is them so that you can get solid. Take care of the, the things that need to be taken care of. Creating a boundary or a wall with all of these um feelings and emotions what do beavers do they build dams so that they so that the water does not uh take over okay what they've built getting your feels and emotions in in order i think that did i say that right getting your feelings and emotions in order yeah so it's not this energy of uh spiritual warfare and foolishness okay dealing with stuff directly clearly so that everything's handled appropriately and you can get to the business of building this foundation what's under the deck we have card number 13 the cat spirit claim your independence Whatever this um, okay, I'm sorry. Some I was distracted. I was like, "What the heck is that blinking and flashing?" It's my tablet. Uh, claiming your independence, walking away and letting go of whatever this. Um, this energy is that is um, causing uh, the foundations of what you're building to be muddled. You getting solid within yourself, leaving behind this um, groupthink kind of energy and narrowing things down for your own purpose, for your own good. I like this for you, Capricorn. I do. I do. I do, 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 do. Yay! Uh oh, hold on, y'all. Dropping cards. Okay. We have Your Life is a Canvas, Art, I'm sorry, Artist, Manifestation, Creative Accountability, You taking the reins on what you wish to create, what you wish to see, what you wish to have in your 3D world. It is up to you. You are the mastermind behind whatever it is that you want. So, taking the reins, creating your own life, so you can see that. Yep, you doing it, okay? And... This is, the, this is the advice from the Starseed Oracles. Um, the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Please, by all means, go check out that general energy message. Okay? Now, either this could be you or this could be um, someone in your environment needing to work on their inner child healing who they are getting to that tender space and place because they are gifted they are gifted and they know okay now 
how they use those gifts, how you use those gifts, completely up to you. Do you use it for the building and the uh, upliftment of those around you? Or are you using it to be in this low energy frequency of spiritual warfare and manipulation, emotional manipulation? It's Hey, we take all information and give all the information not just the fun loving stuff that we wish and want to see we give the truth so either this is you or this is someone in your environment or this is the uh collective energy and you stepping away and um claiming independence thought higher levels of thinking for yourself and moving accordingly under the deck, we have all paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. You doing so is going to, it may cause some, some friction with people around you. But it is for the betterment of you moving forward. You doing what needs to be done for you. Okay? It may hurt. It may um, cause... A rift if there may be fighting there may be an argument there may be some hurt feelings but this is for the building and the laying of a foundation that either you have built or that you are building and whatever this energy is that you are walking away from or leaving behind or um, healing from okay needs to happen for you okay i am going to leave it there nuggets the energies and signs that you could possibly be dealing with at this time i am seeing aries gemini cancer scorpio pisces leo all right nuggets i love you i love you from my soul and I send you all blessings and light. Take care.